Now let's get going folks and we'll begin like we will every day here on Menzoid Mornings with something that's really grinding my gears. Time now for the Menzoid Monologue. Now before I get into the meat and potatoes of today's Menzoid Monologue, a little musical interlude if you please. Maestro? Stay on the bus, forget about us, put the blame on me. Boy, if I don't see that yellow river ride, the old oak tree. Oh, alas and alack, I'm so sorry, Tony Orlando and Don. You might as well stay on the bus and forget about us because you might not be able to tie that amber-hued ribbon around the old oak tree in the near future. You see, oak trees might be deemed hazardous to your health. Yes, those majestic trees may be the next thing to get eradicated by those wondrous co-parents in charge of running our ever-persuasive nanny state. Case in point, say hello to Donna Gazutsia of Vaughan, Ontario. When it comes to helicopter mums, well, this mama is a Sikorsky sky cream. You see, Gazutsia is currently fighting to have oak trees removed near her child's school. The reason? She fears that acorns could pose a deadly threat to those students with severe nut allergies. No, folks, please do not adjust your calendars. It is indeed November 14th, not April 1st. The oak trees are on property owned by the city of Vaughan next to St. Stephen Catholic Elementary School. Sometimes the immediate area is peppered with acorns that have fallen from the oak trees. And apparently that's bad news for a school that is supposed to have a 100% nut-free policy to protect students with potentially life-threatening anaphylactic allergies. Quote, a false sense of security is putting a sign up on the door that says nut free and there's nuts all over the place, says Donna, who has two teenage children with anaphylactic food allergies. I'm not a crazy mom. I'm not asking for anything that's not already there. Oh, but Mama, you are asking for something that isn't par for the course. You want oak trees chopped down. Now, please forgive the menzoid for being culturally insensitive to the nut-free demographic, but since when did people start eating acorns? An acorn isn't exactly found in a tin of mixed nuts along with the cashews and the Brazilians, after all. Nevertheless, Donner recently appeared before a city of Vaughn committee to plead for the removal of the trees. Thankfully, several councillors at the media at the meeting questioned the precedent that removing the trees might set. For example, Councillor Sandra Young Racco wondered whether removing these trees would mean having to remove oak trees from other public properties where children with allergies might be exposed. And hey, kid, you know, kids go on nature walks. Maybe we better get rid of those oak trees and all the ravines, valleys, and moraines as well. Racco's concern is valid because once this particular can of nuts is pried open, there might not be an oak tree left standing in our great dominion, folks. In any effect, Donna, who naturally chairs the school's allergy committee, said she's not suggesting the city becomes nut-free, but she's worried about children who would come in contact with acorns at school as well as the stress of being around a potential trigger of an allergic attack. Yes, folks, she says the acorns are actually causing anxiety. Really? Are anaphylactic kids in school fervently praying they don't walk past an oak tree with their tongue hanging out, only to have an acorn fall upon it and instantly kill them? And then Mama delivered this whopper. The acorns can also be used to bully and torment children. That's a direct quote, folks. Whoa, wait a second. Hold the phone. Stop the presses. You mean to say there are big bullies brandishing copious quantities of acorns, threatening the lives of nut-free kids? Ah, uh, well, no, there isn't actually. But they might. This could happen, sort of, kind of, maybe. So, hey, let's all play it safe and call in an army of lumberjacks before it's too late. Hey, where are the green activists when you really need them? Meanwhile, 
There are reports, are there any reports of any kid succumbing to the Grim Reaper due to ingesting an acorn? Nope. You want to know why? Well, acorns are bitter. They taste downright ghastly. And they generally aren't part of the Homo sapiens diet. In fact, Dr. Maria Asper, a pediatric allergist at Toronto's Hospital for Sick Children, said she isn't aware of any reports, any, of children having an anaphylactic reaction upon contact with acorns. Says the doctor in one media report, I'm not sure what the risk really is for the most part, as long as they're just handled and not ingested, there's no scientific literature to suggest that anyone has had a reaction. Meanwhile, staff at the Woodbridge School are reminding students not to pick up acorns and custodians and administrators routinely go out to clean up the nuts. Well, how about this? Why don't we teach kids with nut allergies to be, oh, I don't know, personally responsible for their well-being? Not to go out on a limb here, but giving these kids the mistaken impression that we can make the entire world a bubble-wrapped entity in such a way that it is 100% safe and secure 24-7, well, that might indeed be more harmful to their health than allowing a few oak trees to remain standing. And that's the Menzoid Monologue.